Hey everybody, what's up? <laughs> so I thought I'd come on today, show you some finished objects, this being one of them. Um, a whip and some new yarn and plans for it. And I think that's it. Anyway, um, first of all, my sister-in-law wanted a beanie to go out and walk the dogs in. And she had complained because she has one, of course, and but it has the uh, ribbed brim on it. And she said she walked by her reflection somewhere uh, while she's walking the dogs, and she said the thing would just have to be crawled up on top of her head like that. <laughs> and I said, I think you need one without that brim, without that ribbed brim. So... First one I made from the top down, y'all, and it turned out pretty good. Now, I've already given her her hat, but here's what happened. My niece, her daughter, saw it and said, uh, mm, uh, I want it, and she's like, no. So, I've been enlisted to make another, and this one's for my niece. So, let's see. This is the chocolate bonbon beanie from Bag of Day Crochet. Of course, this is not chocolate bonbon. I imagine this would be the blueberry bonbon. I love blueberries too. And uh, this is the tutorial number 523 from Bag of Day. I used Lion Brand's Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling, and this is all I had left off, off my niece's. I wanna tell you what, this says it's 100% acrylic, Anti-pilling is a plus, I must say. Um, the color is number 602. It's called Blue White. And it's a four-weight. Uh, mach machine wash and dry, obviously. It's anti-pilling. Um, and it recommended a, guys, I can't see unless I take my glasses off. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, don't it? It is, it says for an H hook, I believe I used an I hook um, on my nieces. I used a J hook on my sister-in-law's because she got a bigger head. But this was all that was left. And I want to tell you, for an acrylic, it's, it really feels like cotton, man. It feels like it's, there's a cotton, but this is soft stuff. I assume this is what you call marled, the marled color. But, but it turned out pretty cool. I like it. I mean, you don't get to see a lot of the stitch definition, but I still, I like it. So anyway, that's that finished object with Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. So, I would like to um, let you guys know of a couple of other past fin finished objects that I've done. Now, the company that I work for, a dance studio, we put on an annual show. We put two annual shows on, but one of them is, um, it's, I don't want to say the name of the studio, but, but it's about um, caring and caring for those in need for organizations and, you know, and this year, we're, we're, all the proceeds will be going to cystic fibrosis as we have a couple of students with cystic fibrosis. And um, anywho, all year long, we kind of do a fundraiser for that cause, for whatever cause we're, we're working toward. And so I thought, wow, let's see. How about if I try to make a couple of items and put them up for silent auction? And I guess you guys are all familiar with silent auction where there's just a piece of paper and you there's a minimum bid, I think, and it starts at a bid and then you just write on the paper how much you want to bid and hopefully the bids increase. But anyway, I did two items, the first of which um, is called the Gwyneth Cable Stitch Cowl. And again, that's from Bag o Day Crochet. It's tutorial number 260. And I'll insert a picture here. So I loved making that. Um, that has that cable stitch, man. It just is. I just it was so squishy. I I think that would make a really cool blanket or something. 
<laughs> just because it's so soft and squishy like a pillow. But I made that from Line Brand's Pound of Yarn that I received in one of Crystal uh, Bag of Days mystery boxes. And of course, I, you know, you can tell I used quite a bit of it, but there's still a whole lot left. <laughs> I'm excited to keep going. The color on this one is top or taupe, and it is 100% acrylic, obviously. Pound of Love from Line Brand. But I did enjoy making that. And the winner was a parent of a student. And they ended up paying, I think, like, th yeah, $37 for it. So, that's not bad. The other uh, object that I made for the silent option was, again, from Bag of Day Crochet, uh, called the Queen's Poncho. It's tutorial number 633. And I'll insert a picture right here. Well, you just saw the winner of that little queen's poncho. Ain't she cute? Um, so what I did there is I used this Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel in Watermelon Taffy. And... I've got one more skein of this left is why I get to show you this. There wasn't a whole lot. There was maybe a ball about that big left out of the poncho. And it is, I'm, I'm sure it's 100% acrylic. I'm trying to find it. And I can't. Made in Turkey, watermelon taffy, 100% acrylic. Yeah. Size I hook. And what I did was, because I had bought some of this Go For Faux Fur, just because I wanted to get some, because I just wanted to get some. <laughs> just because I wanted to get some. <laughs> Didn't know what I was going to do with it. But I lined the little poncho, the little queen's poncho with it. Um, and again, yeah, this, is, this stuff is really hard to work with because you can't see anything when you're doing it. So pretty much a single crochet is about all you can do. I keep looking out the window, y'all, because we're expecting some bad wind squalls. I should probably be down in the basement. So, anywho, where was I? Those for the... Oh, Little Queen's Poncho, it got uh, $35. So, that's not bad. $72 total for, for cystic fibrosis. I was happy. I'll get to... I'm going to pause for a moment, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Bad weather just stresses me out. Ugh. Now it's just a barrage of rain. I'd rather have that than calm when they're calling for possible tornadoes, you know? Okay. Next on the list is... Excuse me. Next on the list is a work in progress. And it has been in progress for more time than I like to like to admit. Anywho, it is a scarf with pockets and a hood. Thus far, I only have the scarf. <laughs> and I, st I don't even have the pockets sewn in yet. But anywho, I am making this from Woolies Thick and Quick from Line Brand. And so far, I have used one, two, three, a four, close to, well, four and a half balls. I got, th or skeins. I got three skeins left. I certainly hope that I will have enough. But don't you love that sparkle? Can y'all see that sparkle? Sparkle, sparkle. Love it. Anyway, I mean, I don't know how. There's part of it. <laughs> it is. It is, um, I think. Um, oh, and again, this came from Bag of Day Crochet as well. Um, it is, I think it's a variation on a moss stitch, because I'm not, like, all familiar with all the stitches, but I love it. It, it's got these little, it's so textured. I really like it. This is a chunky weight yarn, too. Uh, I think it's a five weight. Let me look, let me look, let me look, look. Oh, and the color is called Constellation. Oh, I'm going to see, wash and dry. It's a bulky six. I was going to say it's five, but it's a six. Anyway, this small stitch, if I'm remembering, is a, 
half double slip stitch, half double slip stitch, half double and a slip stitch, all the way. Very easy, but, and I really like making it with it being that bulky too. So hopefully someday I will get it finished, probably be in the middle of the summertime. That's okay. We can always hang it up for next winter. With the weather we're having now, I don't know what we're supposed to do. So last on the list, you guys, I got some yarn. Yay! Ha <laughs> Didn't need it, but I got it. This is Lion Brand, obviously. So last month in January, they were having a sale, and it was 45% off. And I thought, Psh. And you know, Crystal just makes my mouth salivate every time she does a review or an unboxing. Eh, couldn't help myself, just couldn't help myself, just couldn't help myself. I'm a child of this decade, y'all. Child of this decade. Boogie nights. Do, 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 do. Boogie nights. <laughs> so I got some boogie nights. And I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I just couldn't decide. I just couldn't decide. <laughs> but I only got one of each. Well, it wasn't all the colors. I, I, I picked my favorites, and I just couldn't limit it. I just couldn't. So I got, I got, I got, ha, I'm excited. I got the, this is called VIP, ha, ha, sparkly gray, uh, 149 yards in here, super bulky number, well, bulky number five, uh, uh, hook, can't see without, with my glasses, let's see, uh, ten, six millimeter knitting needles, K hook, 6.5 millimeter. Okay, 100% polyester. It is soft, guys. And you can't, you cannot feel. It's a bulky five. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess so. And you, you can't feel that sparkle in there. It's really soft. Boogie Nights. Okay, this color. Ooh, look at that gold. Ooh, this color is called Blitz. And, ooh, mm. Oh my God, this excites me. I love this one. Oh, what are you called? What are you called? Joker. Joker. <laughs> this is the one that Crystal made her hat out of. Jackpot. Jackpot. Time to go to the casino, y'all. Oh, and look at that. You know me. Can you tell that's blue? It's a teal, kind of a teal blue. And it is called a Royal Flush. What everybody wants, a Royal Flush. Best hand you can get, isn't it? Man, it's pretty. And that glitter growing through there is the same color as the yarn. Oh, it's so pretty. So, here's my plans, or at least I hope I'm, I'm going to try. The Granny Challenge. Now, it is anything granny, right? Because I have never, ever made a granny square. But, I was thinking, and I was wondering, what am I going to do with these five skeins of yarn here? Oh, I should tell you how much I got them for. Well, it was 45% off, and they were regularly $5.99. And with the special code on Lime Brand last month, uh, 45, I got them for $3.30 per skein. That's not bad for a new yarn, you know? Anywho, the granny challenge. What I was thinking was, maybe I could make, or at least try to make, a round granny and turn it into a beret. I don't know. I'm going to try. And I want to say don't hold me to it because, you know, I don't know how it's going to work out. Not only that, I'm thinking maybe incorporate some, if not all, of these colors. So I'm going to try to get rid of some of this junk here so you're not seeing all this stuff littering, littering my table. And see, I, I need some help here. So in the comments, if you guys want to kind of help me figure out what color 
you know, how to arrange them, I would really appreciate it. So I'm going to move the camera down if it'll work. Yeah, sweet. All right. So let's see. How's about if we do, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe do the center of the circle in this gray. Yeah. Then, okay, so I'm going to put this one over here. Okay, center of the circle gray. All right. Then perhaps bringing in this burgundy. Oh, I hear thunder now. All right, so then, what about this sort of beigey color? Thereafter, bringing in this teal color. So, let's see, a couple of rows here, a couple of rows here, a couple of rows here, a couple of rows here. And then, if well, shoot, why not? A couple of rows there. I don't know. I have to play around with it and see. Hmm. 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 Don't know. I don't know. Give me your comments. Let me know. And then on the brim, I don't know how it would look. On the brim, I could probably do like three or four rows and go in the same order. Three or four rows of the back loop only stitch, you know, and do like three or four rows of that, then that, then that, then that, and that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, give me your thoughts. These are all five of the colors we got here. Let me see if I can get them up to you a little closer. So we got the tan, the gray, the burgundy, the off-white, and that pretty teal blue. Oh, I just love this. It might end up looking like a rerun. Remember rerun? What was that show? What was the name of that show? He had the beret all the time and the yellow suspenders, big wide yellow suspenders. I can hear the song. Remember? La 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 la. I don't know. Anywho, I'm being crazy. I know. I'm a little cray cray. Okay. Anywho, guys, I think that's it. I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to see if I can batten down the hatches down here and hope we don't get a tornado, because we're not used to those things around here. <sighs> I hate bad weather. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. Hopefully a tree won't fall on my house. I'm praying. All right. See you later. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.